Terrence Bud Crawford being undisputed means just as much as Usyk's. Let's talk. Straighter, yep. not yep. a roundhouse yep. right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot to the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back a little music. bit. <laughs> nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you go around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. We the to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Why is it that I don't hear anybody saying, um, Usyk is the A side? to Anthony Joshua. Usyk is the A-side to Tyson Fury. Usyk is the A-side to Deontay Wilder. Why don't I hear anybody putting the same respect on Usyk's undisputed that they put on Terrence Crawford's undisputed? Why does why is Usyk's undisputed not the same accolade as Terrence Crawford's undisputed? Why isn't Josh Taylor's undisputed the same as Terrence Crawford's undisputed. They were undisputed in the same weight class. Why why aren't people saying, yo, when Josh Taylor moves up, Errol Spence is the B-side? I'm just asking. Because I, I've noticed that Terrence Crawford fans put all this weight on him being undisputed at 140, a weight class that no one even gives a fuck about. It's not a glory weight class at all. It's not a glory division at all. Uh, featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, heavyweight. There you go. There's your glory divisions. So people are putting all this weight on him being 140, at 140 undisputed. They're putting all this on there. When out of all of the undisputed champions, to include Clarissa Shields, Terrence Crawford had the absolute easiest right route to undisputed. The easiest route. Your uh, fucking uh, uh, Alexander Usyk's route was harder than Terrence Crawford's. He had no choice but to fight the top guys there. So I'm trying to figure out how come people are not rallying behind Usyk, shitting on Joshua, saying that um, Usyk is the A side. How come people are not rallying behind Usyk shitting on Fury, saying Fury's ducking Usyk and Usyk is the A-side? You know, it's 60-40 for Usyk or no fight. Because Usyk is going to the Hall of Fame without Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury was never undisputed. Usyk is about to be undisputed. He's about to be undisputed. Tyson Fury's retired. Usyk's a unit. He was undisputed at one uh, at, at, uh, at cruiserweight. He could potentially be undisputed at heavyweight. So how come people are not giving Usyk the same? He's a future Hall of Famer speech as they're doing to to um, Terrence Crawford. How come only those negotiations? How come those terms that undisputed is the only undisputed that means anything? How? how why is that the case? So Usyk's undisputed don't mean shit. Usyk has more accolades than Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford never made it to the motherfucking Olympics. Usyk did. Terrence Crawford never fought and never fought in a tournament and became the, the Muhammad Ali trophy winner and then undisputed. Usyk did. 
Terrence Crawford wasn't unified after becoming undisputed. Terrence Crawford had one belt at 135, undisputed at, four, at 140, and one belt at 147. That's it. Usyk was undisputed at cruiserweight, and he is unified at heavyweight. He has more accolades, better accolades than Terrence Crawford. He has gold medals, two of them if I'm not mistaken. Gold medals, undisputed, unified. What are we talking about? How, how is Usyk not in front of Terrence Crawford if we're talking about accomplishments and accolades? Why isn't Usyk's undisputed? Better than Terrence Crawford's. Isn't don't don't when they talk about pound for pound, they don't put heavyweights on there because they compare him to heavyweights. Well, he's a unified champion at heavyweight, and he beat the guy that y'all said was the top dude. You know, everything that people claim Terrence Crawford wants to do. Yeah, Terrence Crawford, he was moving up to 147, and the man at 147, the man there was was Keith Thurman. He wanted to fight the man. He moved so so Usyk. Because y'all claimed that Anthony Joshua was the man. Can I get a two-time? He's the man. He's got three belts. He's the man. He's a unified champion. Aaron, Anthony Joshua's the man. Global heartthrob star with his meaty chest and thick thighs. He's the man. So Usyk did what Terrence Crawford claimed he wanted to do. Usyk went up to heavyweight as an undisputed champion and fought the man and beat him. Terrence Crawford as an undisputed champion at 140 went up and said he wants to fight Keith Thurman, but fought somebody else instead. But we're going to put all this weight. Oh man, listen, man, Terrence Crawford was undisputed. He was undisputed. So that means, listen, bro, at least 50, 50, man, it's gotta be 50, 50. It's gotta be. It's a 50-50 fight, and it's got to be 50-50 purse because Terrence Crawford accolades. He don't need Errol, uh, Errol Spence. He's going to the Hall of Fame right now. He don't need him. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Usyk never needed Anthony Joshua. Usyk doesn't need Tyson Fury. Usyk don't need Deontay Wilder. Usyk is an undisputed champion at cruiserweight. He is a unified champion at heavyweight. He is going to the Hall of Fame. How come he don't get the same push? And he's white. <laughs> he's a white man. So what, what BFTB is doing is I am proving that you all are fucking haters. I am proving it that you're haters. You're absolute fucking haters. That's what you are. You have no explanation on why Usyk don't get the same push, the same credit, the same anything that Terrence Crawford gets. The only reason why er, ter, uh, Terrence Crawford's undisputed matters, the only reason why is because of Errol Spence. If there was no Errol Spence, undisputed wouldn't matter at all. Nobody would give a fuck. Just like they don't give a fuck about Josh Taylor. There was nobody fucking listening to my voice clamoring for Josh Taylor to move up and get his shot with Errol Spence. Nobody. Because you do not believe he will beat Errol Spence. The only reason why you care about Terrence Crawford at all, the only reason why his undisputed matters at all is because you want this man to beat Errol Spence and you want this man to not just beat Errol Spence in the ring, you want him to beat this man outside of the ring. You want him to beat him in his pockets. You want to beat him in every way fashionable. You want this black man humbled. Y'all niggas are sambos, you're coons, you're haters. You want Errol Spence humbled. You want him broken. You want him splattered on the ground. You want him beaten. You want him begging for mercy. That's what you want. You don't give a fuck about boxing. You don't care if Tarrant Craw about Terrence Crawford's career. You don't give a fuck if he becomes undisputed. You don't give a fuck if he fights Jerron Boots Ennis. You don't give a fuck if he fights Keith Thurman. You don't care about Danny Garcia or Sean Porter. You don't give a fuck about none of that. All you care about is Errol Spence. That's it. And every time I debate one of you dick rod niggas, you prove it every time. Every fucking time. Every time. Oh, man, listen, it's a, he should get 50-50 to me, in my opinion. You can't go to his job and, and tell somebody at their job what they're worth at their job. Yeah, you can't tell that. But I never heard anybody pressing Errol Spence to give Sean Porter 50-50. Sean Porter's accolades far 
exceed Errol Spence's. Yeah, they do. Mikey Garcia's accolades exceed Errol Spence's at the time they fought. Yeah, Sean Porter was a two-time welterweight champion. He fought Adrian Broder, he fought Polly Malignaggi, he fought Danny Garcia, he fought Stuart Dennis Ugas, he fought Keith Thurman, he fought Devin Oz, the list goes on and on and on. It goes on and on and on. On and on and on. Was ducked by uh, 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 Manny Pacquiao and ducked by Floyd Mayweather. Goes on and on and on. How come nobody was pressing Manny Pacquiao, I mean, uh, uh, Sean Porter to get 50-50 with Errol Spence? How come nobody was using Sean Porter's accolades and saying he should get it? You literally criticized Errol Spence, claiming that he gave Sean Porter 50-50. You slam him and criticize. Oh, why are you giving 50? You shouldn't have gave him that. Oh, you're going to give him that. Then it's 60-40 for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford needs to get 60 You gave Sean Porter for You slam him. You disrespect him for doing that. And he didn't even do it. He didn't even do it. You do not care about Terrence Crawford's undisputed. Terrence Crawford's undisputed doesn't mean shit. It means absolutely nothing. Nothing. Garbage. It means nothing. Y'all don't care. If you cared, then you'd buy all his pay-per-view fights. You say, I got to buy these fights because it's undisputed. You care as just as much about him being undisputed as you do about Usyk. You do not buy Usyk's fights at all. You care just as much about Usyk's undisputed as Terrence Crawford's. There is no way in hell that Terrence Crawford would not be selling as much as Tank Davis. Tank Davis has uh, one major belt and an IBF belt, and he has two minor belts. Two WBA, oh, correction. He has a WBA, an IBF, and a WBA major belt and one minor WBA belt. That's what he has. That's what he has. He's never been undisputed. Ter uh, uh, Tank Davis never been, he's never been unified, but y'all buy his fights. He outsells Terrence Crawford without question. It's not even close. So why don't y'all buy Terrence Crawford's fights? If pound for pound, if undisputed and all that shit matters, if his belts mattered, then why don't y'all buy his fights? Because they don't matter. And if they did matter, then you'd be saying the same type of shit that you that you're talking about uh Terrence Crawford or he's got deserves his leverage and he's a generational fighter and all these pound pound skills and pound pound eyelashes and nose and all this other weird ass shit you be saying the same thing about Usyk but you are not none of y'all are not even white people <laughs> not even white people because you don't want to see Usyk the white man fight Tyson Fury the white man at all no no you want to see Wilder battered, broken, beat up, splattered on the ring, humbled. That's what y'all want to see. You don't give a fuck about Usyk and Undisputed. You don't give a fuck about Terrence Crawford and Undisputed. You want to see Errol Spence humbled, battered, beaten, broken. That's what you want. Because Deontay Wilder represents a powerful black man. Errol Spence represents a powerful black man. Devin Haney represents a powerful black man. You're semi-okay with Tank Davis, but he represents a powerful black man too, but you're semi-okay with him because he answers the Floyd Mayweather. So you're semi-okay, but you don't want nobody being their own boss. You can't have this black man being his own man, a powerful black man, his own man. You can't have that. No, you can't have that. You need this man humbled. You need him broken. You need him on his knees. You need them looking up at somebody else. And then once that happens, you won't care no more. You're on to the next. Unless that powerful man stands back up. If he stands back up, then you want to keep throwing in his face that he lost. Don't matter how he lost. That man could have been jumped by 30 motherfuckers. He could have been cheated, robbed, held up at gunpoint. Doesn't matter to y'all. You just will throw it in his face that he lost. That's it. And that's what y'all want for Errol Spence. And that's why Usyk's Undisputed does not matter. Because y'all don't care. You just want Errol Spence to lose. So stop fucking telling me about Terrence Crawford's accolades. Stop fucking telling me that he was undisputed. Because none of you niggas are undisputedly paying for his fucking pay-per-views. 
None of you niggas are undisputedly buying his motherfucking fights and showing up. None of you niggas are undisputedly paying for the pay-per-view and going. Just to support. None of you niggas are. Which is the reason why his pay-per-view numbers are fucking garbage. And always been that. Fucking trash. The best pay-per-view he's ever done in his career is with Errol Spence's leftovers. And those are facts. And he was fucking undisputed uh, at 140 when he fought Sean Porter. And he was pound for pound when he fought Sean Porter. And he still did less than Errol Spence. Because you guys that claim y'all care about his fucking accolades, you really don't. Or else his numbers would prove it. Men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't. BFTB. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. And I'm out.